and I'm going to make some oven fried potato sticks so to get it nice and crunchy well firstly we need a potato and we're going to use some whole wheat crackers salted whole wheat crackers and then we're going to use a sprinkle of cornstarch or you could use potato starch and so if you're allergic to corn, you could use potato starch. So let's put these potato sticks together. We're going to fry them, as I mentioned, on the stove top in all that grease. We're going to bake it in the oven. So let's get cracking with our potato sticks. To start, I have washed four medium-sized potato and I am going to remove the skin. So I wash them, dry them out, and now I am going to peel the potato. I am not going to suggest any particular type of potato. What I would suggest is when you're cutting your potato, make sure and cut them evenly so that they would cook at the same time. You don't want to have big pieces and small pieces because then you will have some cooking before some and you don't want that. So I would continue peeling this potato and when I'm done we would get back to the instructions. Okay, so I have peeled one potato and I have cut them into four pieces. So I'm going to do the rest off camera and when I come back, we're going to put them on the fire and I'm going to go through all of the ingredients with you. Now once it's peeled, I have it in some water with a little bit of lime because I don't want it to get dark. And these are the other ingredients that I'm going to use. I am going to use some whole wheat crackers. You could, eat any, you could use any type of crackers or corn flakes. I am going to use some corn starch. You can use potato starch. It's just to give it a nice ex extra crunch on your wedges. And I am going to use my Cajun seasoning for some of the potato. I'm going to do some with the crackers and some just with the Cajun seasoning like I already have on my channel. So off camera, I minced my crackers and I am going to add half a teaspoon of my cornstarch. You can add more if you like. And I am going to mix that and make sure everything is properly well incorporated. You don't, you see how they have little lumps? We don't want that. So I want to make sure that it's all incorporated. I'm not going to add any salt to this because I am going to boil the potato with salt and the crackers is already salted. So once my potato is finished boiling, I'm going to strain and use my mash, masher and Put some freshly grind black pepper and no more salt because the cracker has salt and I just put a pinch to boil over the heat. And once my black pepper is added, I am going to incorporate that with the potato, mash everything together and make sure it is as smooth as possible. I also added and I didn't show some parsley and some thyme, dried parsley. That is optional. That is why I didn't add it in the recipe because I just used to add a little extra just for flavor. So you don't, you could 
try it. It would it tastes really nice. I enjoy it. So once everything is mashed, I'm gonna make put some in my hand palm size and make a ball with it. As you're seeing there, let me give you a closer view of it. After mashing the potato, I am going to squeeze and roll, squeeze and roll. That is the motion in which we are going. Squeeze and roll. And set that aside. Now, I am not going to leave it whole because I decided to cut them in half and make them into a wedge instead of the stick. So the name of the recipe basically changed. So that is how I shaped them. I put a palm size amount in my hand. And you could also do it this way. I just find it is more easier if I just put it in my hand and roll it and turn. Roll and turn. And I get a nice, a better shape than if I make a ball in my hand and roll it around. But I was just showing you different ways in which you can do it. So this is the way that I, the method that I stuck with and I did all of the potato that way. It just went really smoothly and faster for me this way. So you could do whatever makes you comfortable and easier. So I'm going to roll all of them out and I will get back to you. this point so now I am going to place each one of them into the crumbs with the cornstarch make sure it is totally well coated right around and place it aside and I'm going to do that till I have completed all but instead of doing them one by one I have decided to just place them all into the container and coat them all Still making sure that they are all thoroughly coated with the cr crackers and the cornstarch. So then halfway in, this is what I decided to do. So if you don't want to use the whole potato like this, and you want a smaller or a more neater finish, basically, you just cut it in half like this. With it being already in this shape, okay? And then just shape it like this so you have like a wedgish kind of shape. So you could use it like this. And I think I am going to use all of them like this. I think I am going to do this. I'm going to cut all of them and coat them. So let's continue coating our potato. And I'm going to do two of the potato ball that I made with some Cajun seasoning, although I just want to try those with the Cajun seasoning that I have and the rest will just be in the cricks. So let's continue. Alright, so as you can see they have been cut in half and totally coated with the cricks and also the Cajun seasoning which is already on my channel, the link will be provided. I place them in a preheating broiler for 10 minutes total cooking time so what I did was I placed them five minutes then when that five minutes was up I turned them around place them back in for five more minutes and then remove them you remember you're not placing them into the broiler to cook the potato because remember our potatoes are already cooked the dip is basically some cream cheese I put some mayo 
and I also put some of my Cajun barbecue sauce and a little bit of mustard. And that was it for the dip. If you want to add a little pepper sauce, you can. Don't forget I also have a pepper sauce on my channel. Don't forget to check that out. This would be the upcoming chocolate and chit chat on Wednesday. And this recipe would be a noni extract. It's more like medicine. Don't forget to check out all the links mentioned.